Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I do videos, all sorts of videos, about what is happening and what I feel is informative, and I share various topics. Um, with the current situation, however, I am sensitive to the fact that I have subscribers of all mental states. So I'm not going to go guns blazing. I'm not going to share with you everything I hear or everything I'm given. I'm going to be quite sensitive at this time until this crisis is over and only share with you information I think is beneficial. There's a fine line between knowledge being power and sharing information that allows a state of well-being. And at this point, we cannot afford for people to be more stressed than they are. So I'm going to try and keep uh, my information as helpful as possible. I will still give my opinion, of course, and um, try to kind of understand exactly what is going on. And I will try to express um, the concerns I have that are collaborated with the concerns of other people. And I will put that out there. Um, that being said, we're talking today about the lockdown restrictions. And I still do not believe. I'm going to show you a video in a minute and it's just gone. It's typical, isn't it? Try to be organised. And, and it just goes. Go? Hold on. Come on. This is one of the selfish people. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get myself organised, one little touch, and it goes all, all chaos. Anyway, um, I want to talk about the lockdown, which is very con genuinely confusing for a lot of people. On the one hand, um, Boris Johnson is saying he's pushing towards sh shutting shops and cafes and churches, and but he's still saying that people can go to the park and exercise with family members and I understand the um, sentiments be behind funerals but he should say that funerals can only be attended by the immediate family and no more than maybe four or five because in the West Indian culture funerals are as, as widely attended as weddings I mean you can get 150 200 people at a funeral he needs to be pacific he needs to be concise and he needs to say it is a lockdown because otherwise you're going to have children like this defying their parents and thinking that their parents are being unreasonable. Tell the country where you want to go. Come on. This is one of the selfish people that stood here for the last 20 minutes arguing with her mum. She's 16 years old, by the way, and she is refusing to stay in the house because she thinks she's above everybody else. And she's quite happy to go out, take the risk, walk down to her mate's house. Come on, Lace. No, you're not going out, Lacey. I'm trying to keep you safe, mate. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. No. No. Boris Johnson needs to put this country on lockdown to the likes of her and the other stupid little teenagers that can run around these, run around the whole of the fucking country thinking that they know best. Because this is pathetic. No, pathetic, Lacey. <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Arguing with you because you're not going out. Acting like kids. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, Lacey. You're not going out, mate. You ain't going out, end of. You ain't going out. The thing is, is that, that how do you control teenagers who have been raised to be or feel entitled? You know, you've already created a menace, really. You've created somebody who doesn't abide by rules. You've extended boundaries. A lot of parents have done that, not realising that when boundaries need to be enforced their ch children like that or teenagers like that will try to defy the boundaries and will be in trouble and this is why 
the, the, the virus will spread because ch a child like that will end up probably smashing the windows, will get so mad that they want to go out. And it's because Boris Johnson has not been clear. Now, it's going to reach a point probably between um, now and next week where it will be very clear to a lot of people what a lockdown means. And especially for teenagers, it is going to be extremely difficult. And I don't know what's going to happen in the homes of these children who have been raised without no discipline and raised with a sense of entitlement. So anyway, um, we're going to have an Italian um, style lockdown over the next couple of days um, within London. Um, next week, it's going to extend to the whole country, I understand. Um, what is allowed is travelling to and from work, if you're unable to work from home, for key workers. What are key workers? Where did I write that down? As usual, I have not, I am not organised. Anyway, the key workers are NHS staff police staff, um, if I can remember correctly, um, bus drivers, delivery drivers, um, ambulance people, fire, all the emergency services, and um, of course, all the health staff. It's probably in another video. I wrote it down just before I left work, but those are, the, those are what they call, oh, and, teacher, and teachers, who are teaching the children of those key staff. That is it. Everybody else is supposed to be inside. Okay, so that is the travelling to and from work. And I'm, hope, I'm trying to make this more explicit because you're still finding people up and down because that it hasn't made it 100% clear that we're on a lockdown. And I think it's because... He hasn't got everything in place yet, so he's vying for time. So um, you can leave the house if you're going for medical and health supplies and you've got the prescription in your hand or you've got the text that shows um, whoever stops you because we're going to be manned by police and the army at certain checkpoints. So you're going to have that have to have that text from the um the pharmacy or from your GP or the hospital saying that you are collecting medicine and make sure you have it on you. Um, they talk about one kind of exercise per day, solo or with family members. What about family members who have a large family? I mean, at one point he says only two people and then in another um, sentence he says family members. Make up your mind. It should only be two people, a couple. OK, um, necessary grocery shopping for essential items. What are essential items? Essential items to Boris Johnson might not be essential items to the lay person on the street, to the person who is low income. They might, <coughs> sorry, they might be two totally different definitions. So he needs to be clear what are essential items so people do not get into trouble through no fault of their own. Um, what is strictly banned? Shopping for items that are not important. That is not clear. What is not important? It's the same like essential items. He needs to be clear what are important items. Is an orange an important item? Is toothpaste an important item? Is a plug to put in the socket a, 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 an important item? Is a light bulb an important item? Are earphones for your um, for your phone so you don't disturb the rest of the family? Are they an important item? He needs to be clear. What are important items in his definition? So um, funerals can be attended, supposing they're large. Caribbean and African flu um, funerals are extremely large. They're just like weddings. 
So what he should be saying is that funerals can go ahead, but they need to be attended by immediate kin. The mother, the father, the son, the daughter, whoever. But immediate kin and no more than four or five, if that is what he's allowing to, at a funeral. Be pacific so people aren't caught and taught and told that they're breaching legislation and then be subject to emergency laws. And we know what those emergency laws are. I'm going to show you another video, which is the reason um, why it's important that it's clear what a, what a lockdown is. Because if he's saying you can go to large spaces as long as you stay certain um, miles apart, a certain distance apart, and you're going with family members. What about all those people that went to lower stuff? When they hear that you can go to large spaces, they all went to the beach. And then, you know, people are going mad because all these people are on the beach. It's because he's not clear. The other day when uh, the underground was packed, it's supposed to be key workers. How many key workers are there? Has he defined key workers? Well, key workers have been defined now. I mean, I've told you what they are, but for people who don't know what a key worker is, or they're, they're told that they can, um, what did they say? You can't visit friends as, anyway, he's not clear. So these guys are on a beach and the police are rough treating. And this is what will happen in the UK eventually. If you have young men on the street not taking this seriously. And this is why I'm showing it to you. Look at those cops talking to people, cursing and stuff. <laughs> You see, this is where it gets out of hand. All they need to do is walk off. Please, young men in the UK, don't challenge the police. If they give you the opportunity to move on, move on. Don't talk back. Don't look at them in the eye, just move on. Otherwise, you're giving them permission to do stuff like this. Anyway, I'm not going to show you the whole video. That is That was taken, that's in Miami. It's not in the UK. But it's, it's disturbing because young people, they don't understand. They don't understand. Really and truly they don't. And they think, those young men will probably think the police are um, picking on them. And on one hand, you could say maybe they are or maybe they're not. We do not know. The fact of the matter is, stay in your yard. Stay at home. You're putting yourself at risk. By being outside the by being outside your home and challenging the police, they have the right now emergency laws to take you to and detain you indefinitely. If that's what you want, by all means, challenge the police. Tell them why the hell are you moving us on when there's a lockdown. But once again, the lockdown, the way they term it, is so diplomatic, it's so polite, it's, it's not telling them the truth of the consequences if they do not abide by the law. They're not telling them the consequences. 
they say, oh, army points will be here and army points will be there. And, you know, they'll be asking you for your ID and blah. They're not telling you they're going to bloody shove you in a detention centre indefinitely. You know, they're not telling people that those who are over a certain age are not going to get any help anymore during this during this crisis because they don't have the supplies, they don't have the beds, they don't have anything. So you have to make sure if you're over 65, you need to keep healthy during the lockdown. That's all you need to do. Stay at home, look after your immune system and stay healthy and try to be as stress free as possible. Okay, so... What is strictly banned? Shopping for items that are not important. I've just said that. Um, funerals can be attended. Okay. Army. Oh, I've got I've got it here. Army is going to be manned at checkpoints only. Um, key workers. That needs to be defined what key workers are. Because in addition to key workers, he's saying NHS staff, police, ambulance, fire delivery drivers and teachers. I think key workers might be people like social workers. It might be, um, you know, the people who run domestic abuse um, charities and um, members of Luton Borough Council who cover certain um, emergency services. So they're probably considered anybody who works for like the Borough Council and the um, health service, I think, all of those combined are key workers. That's my perception. That's how I would I think about it because they all have badges and they, they all have IDs with their picture on them and they're all meant to wear them when they're going on the street. So, um, yeah, like I said, over 75s could be denied critical care. Anyone over 65 with disease with diseases like diabetes, could be denied critical care during this time. Elderly, if they fall sick and require hospital care, there could be an order to palliate, palliate them. And as we know, there's a forecast of 250,000 deaths, which is consistent to the number that they're talking about um, testing, which is a coincidence. Um, some foreign families are quite large I've said that okay if you do not obey these vague rules the police have the power to impose fines but remember they also have the power to detain and test where they deem appropriate they could send out drones I mean we've seen these videos I don't know if you've seen these videos where somebody steps out of their house and then this alarm goes off and they have to go back in um, remember, they are going to have drones that are going to be monitoring activity outside people's homes. Now, if you decide to come out of your house and that alarm goes off from the drone, because remember, they can, they've got these radars that can pick up anyone from any distance. So you're not dealing with physical human beings. And then the police or whoever or the army know, will know who's triggered that drone. And they could come to arrest and prosecute you. So this isn't a time for playing games. I don't want to stress you. I just, Really and truly, I'm just trying to give you information to help you so that you take it seriously. And a lot of the information is not being provided. So people don't know. People might think, oh, you know, I'm just going to go over to my neighbour. You know, she's on her own. That that would be fine not realising possibly that there are drones that are looking for anybody who's coming out of their house during a lockdown and the consequences of that. So forewarned is forearmed. Okay, so this is not to alarm you. This is just to keep you safe and in your homes for the duration until we're told we can come out of our homes. Okay, so um, what... Clo what is closed? It's what they deem as non-essential services. So KFC, Nando's, McDonald's. I don't know how many of you have seen. Oh, 
I don't know if I can find it. I, I just want to show you a few videos just to break up this, um, the monotony of, the monotony, the monotony of me talking. So, like I was saying, KFC is closed, Nando's is closed, McDonald's is closed, Subway's is closed. Now look at this young girl's reaction. Layla, Layla, where else do you like to eat? Layla, Nando's is closed as well. We love Nando's. And KFC. And McDonald's. Chinese food. Got to eat mummy's cooking now. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Well, she's got to eat mummy's cooking. I mean, it all depends how you look at that, but that is how this is going to affect children who have been raised on that kind of food and who have not been raised with home cooking. What is happening now is that we're going back to basics. We're going back to home cooking, talking to the family, interacting with the family, doing all those games and stuff. That's what we're going back to, back to basics. Anyway, so high street phone companies will be closed. And um, so you're going to have to phone. And so I, I tried to call last night one of my phone companies for some reason. It took about an hour's wait. So you can imagine, you can't just nip to a phone shop now and get your situation sorted. Everyone is contacting them by phone. Yes, some of them do have online. Well, they all have websites. But if the website doesn't answer your question, you're going to have to wait. Um, churches, kingdom halls. Any places of worship, they're all closed. What will people do on Sundays and Saturdays when they can't go and get that little bit of energy, that little bit of spiritual elevation? What keeps them going throughout the week? What's going to happen to them? There's going to be a lot of depressed people around. Hopefully they've got enough faith in themselves and in faith of the God that they go and mix with in a group to get them through this. Um, libraries are closed, um, playgrounds, campsites, B&B hotels, all the escape routes, outdoor gyms. I'm not quite sure what they mean by outdoor gyms. I assume they mean gyms outside your house. Um, and then, so what is it important for you to have at home with all of these things being closed and shut down? And it's important for you to have Food that you know how to cook. Gym equipment, like barbells. You can always do press-ups. You don't need any equipment for that. Um, what else is there? You know, some people put those bars across their doors and they do press-ups. So you can, and I mean, when I'm watching Love Island, they, they, they improvise. So there are ways that you can still keep your body in shape, even during the lockdown. What you don't want to do is when you're at home, say, I can't be bothered to shower, I can't be bothered to change my clothes, I can't be bothered to do this, I can't be bothered to do that. That's what you don't want to do. Because a lot of people, they will just have pyjama days every day and just stop taking interest in themselves, interest in their appearance, and, you know, because, lack motivation, basically. Um, so you need your pharmaceutical supplies. That's um, if you can still get them. That's things for basic, you know, headaches and flu. Uh, your supplements, your <clears throat> vitamin C mostly. Games, you know, start stacking up on games while you can. You know, all those old games like Ludo, Backgammon, Dominoes, you know. If you live alone, it, you won't be able to play games. But I mean... You know, they did have a, they've got that one called Solitaire. I guess it'll get mundane after a while. But 
just look for ways to entertain or educate yourself. They've got lots of free online courses um, that you can learn. And I'm going to put the link um, below. Uh, oh, I don't think I forwarded it. Anyway, um, I'll try and put the link. If I don't put it immediately, I'll put it afterwards. Um, what else have we got? Make sure you've got your lemon and your honey and you've got your disinfectant. Sometimes you don't even need disinfectant. You just need salt and water. Salt and water in itself is a disinfectant. And I saw, I saw a, an empty bus this morning and I was thinking to myself, should they be running? You know, the man, he had no passengers. And I was thinking it would be um, cost effective if the government did a, um, a survey of key workers who use the bus, what bus routes, what times, because they'll probably be easier to just set buses out just to pick people up for those key times so that the um, the bus drivers are not out and about unnecessarily. Um, what else is there? I think that's all for now. Um, yeah, that's all on that one. Okay, so you take care. I'm going to be doing one about how finances are um, affecting you during this time. But for now, if you'd like to subscribe, share, um, please do so. And click the thumbs up or the thumbs down and interact with my subscribers. And I just want to thank new subscribers as well and returning subscribers. And that's all for now. Bye bye.